I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test problem. Here we need to find inverse of a quadratic function where the domain of the quadratic function is restricted. It's question number three which we will see in details. The subject is MCR3U functions grade 11. Question is given f of x equals to 3 times x plus 2 whole square plus 1 for x less than or equal to minus 2. Determine the equation of f inverse x, determine the domain and range of f inverse x, and sketch the function fx and f inverse x. So what we are given here is the quadratic function in vertex form. So let me rewrite the function which is f of x equals to 3 times x plus 2 whole square plus 1. An important thing here is that the domain is restricted and it is less than minus 2. I know we need to sketch it at the end but let's look at it first right so so the function given to us is is a parabola whose vertex is minus 2 let's say 1 and 2 this is minus 2 and let's say 1 and 2 that is the vertex it opens upwards so so that is the parabola now we are saying that the domain is less than minus 2 that means it is actually from here on the left side so that is the domain so we have to consider this part of the graph only right not the right half of the part right so when you do inverse of this function which graphically you could do by reflecting on y equals to x line correct y equals to x line this point is minus 2 1 then the coordinates will change it will come to 1 minus 2 so it is 1 and then minus 2 here kind of right and this part is will be kind of like this so that is the inverse of the function to give you the concept we should not be drawing the whole parabola since the domain is restricted okay now let's find the inverse algebraically so algebraically what we do is we write y equals to 3 times x plus 2 whole square plus 1 and then we swap x and y to find the inverse of the function so we get y plus 2 whole square plus 1 and then we have to rearrange so we'll bring 1 on this side x minus 1 equals to 3 times y plus 2 whole square then we divide by 3 x minus 1 over 3 equals to y plus 2 whole square correct okay? now we have to take square root so we have square root of x minus 1 over 3 equals to y plus 2 normally when you do square root you have to take both plus and minus now since our domain is restricted to negative we'll take only the negative value right so the lower half not the upper half that is what we're trying to say right so reason is restriction on domain do you understand that part right this we did since domain is restricted so since x is less than or equals to minus 2 that is why we are taking the lower half only correct this is very important to understand now with that we get inverse of a function and we can write down the inverse function here so we have f inverse x as equals 2 we'll bring 2 on this side so we have minus 2 and we have minus square root of x minus 1 over 3 so that is the inverse function and that is answer to part a now we need to do, determine the domain and range of this function right well you knew this point coordinates are minus 2 and 1 and this coordinates will be swapped so it will be 1 and minus 2 correct so this is minus 2 for us and that is 1 for us okay now there are a couple of ways to find domain and range for this function one of course we can do from the equation itself the x value inside should be positive right so so for domain we know x minus 1 within the square root should be positive so x minus 1 over 3 whatever is there should be greater than or equal to 0 correct so that gives us that means when you multiply 3 by 0 you get 0 that gives us x is greater than 1 so that is the domain right so you can see 
domain is x greater than 1 clearly right as far as the range is concerned this function is reflections it goes down and two units down right so the range is that y belongs to real numbers where y is less than equals to minus 2 right so in this form let me write domain also so we have domain as x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than equal to greater than equal to 1 right so that is how you can get domain and range for the inverse function you could have also got domain and range by swapping domain range from here domain is given as x is less than minus 2 it becomes the range so y less than equal to minus 2 y less than equals to minus 2 becomes the range of the inverse function so you could get directly also right now direct approach is better since if you get wrong answer for f inverse at least this will be correct okay now the third part of course so this is b for us third part is to sketch and here is approximate sketch of the function right so i'm giving you very approximate sketch so here we have f of x shown here so this is f of x for us and in orange we are giving you f of inverse x remember if the domain is not restricted then inverse will not be a function right so i hope you understand and appreciate that part this is a very important test problem and i've seen students doing mistake not considering the domain of the function take care and all the best thank you